Um, I got off to a little shaky start. I was I was a little nervous. Um, first time I've led this big of a tournament, so I had a couple little nerves first couple holes, but um, I birdied, I think it was 15, my fourth hole, or sixth hole, and that, that kind of calmed me down a little, and I was able to get into to a good rhythm after that. So starting off shaky, did that bring any more nerves to the, um, any more nerves to yourself and how you would finish, or if you would... For sure, yeah. Um, I, I bogeyed. 12, which is probably the hardest, if not the second hardest hole. And, um, I, my playing partner was already two under for the round by that point. And then we stepped up to 13, probably either the first or the second hardest hole there. And I was really nervous on that tee and um, bogeyed that hole. But after that, I was I started getting into a better rhythm. So, how did it feel being by four shots in a game? Um, it felt good. I mean, it, it definitely took a little pressure off the today's round, but I, I knew I still had to go out and play good to, to earn it. So. so walk us through your back nine. Walk us through your game plan. Walk us through how you, how you uh, manage your emotions and how you decided, you and your caddy decided how the game went. Um, by the back nine, I think my lead was still four at one point. And I, by that point, I was in a decent rhythm where I was making easy pars and giving myself chances for birdie. And all I, all I had to do was keep doing that, and I was able to take advantage. I think I had three birdies on the back nine. So it, it, my nerves were very calm on the back nine. So your partner, Richard, um, chipped in on for par on uh, six. Or yes. No, five. Mm -hmm. What was going through mind with that? That was a great par. I. He stepped up and hit drive in the hazard. I, I hit it down the middle and hit it to 15 feet. And he ended up making par and I ended up making bogey. So it, I mean, it was, it was a good par. It was, it was fun to watch. He can hit the ball really far away. So coming off a of birdie on eight, or on your 17th, walking down the nine fairway and doing your dad, so how is that I knew, I knew, obviously at that point I had the tournament in my hands. Um, especially after the tee shot on 18, I knew putting it down the middle, I just had, all I had to do was put it on the green and two putt, if not one putt like I did. And it was, it was really cool to be able to birdie the last two holes and have my dad by my side walking down the fairway. Speaking of that putt, were you surprised that you made it and you kind of had that feeling? Well, first two days <laughs> on that hole, I, I hit it to three feet and then the next day to eight feet and miss both of those. So I've, I've had a little, some bad karma putting on that hole. I knew, I knew I was bound to make one and I made the longest one I gave myself. So I mean, it was cool to end with that birdie though. It's cool to close it out like that. How are your uh, playing partners? They were good. They're, I played with um, one of them yesterday, so we were already comfortable with each other. And um, Richard was a, is a very good guy. So he, both of them are easy to play with. They don't complain. They don't get mad, they, they do their own thing. It's just, they were good guys to play with. Yesterday, you said you won the break on the flag. I mean, it, it's really cool to be able to do that. I, I know that it's been a while since an American has won this. Um, being that we're in America, yet there's more international kids and to, to be able to be the top American is really cool. So what's your plan tonight? I have a two week break for Christmas, so I'm going to take a little time off and then I start the year with a couple good tournaments, so I'm going to start getting ready for that at the first of the year. So how are your feelings about the tournament and how they were uh, set up and how Tom ran to Tom always does a great job. Uh, this is the best I've ever seen this course. They did a, all the superintendents and everybody did a, did a wonderful job. And then the weather permitted very well. So uh, yesterday it was a high chance of rain. I think I we used the umbrella for a hole or two. And then today was the even higher chance of rain. Not one drop of rain. So it, it was very nice. So it's kind of nice. Yeah, it was just the only thing that went wrong today was the start. It was a lot of nerves and just thinking about what could and couldn't happen. And then once I got into my rhythm, I knew I could I could shut it out. I had the ability, the way I was playing this week, to be able to to end it. So. Well, Andrew, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you.